Doodle Bud here. This is the new watch I was set by Cospet. I really actually wasn't interested in reviewing it, but here it is. And the reason I got it, and I said, let's do this then, is they told me this thing is really rugged and said to do whatever I want as far as testing it, do a bit of a torture test on a smartwatch. So here's the idea I came up with. The most common way you're gonna mess up one of these watches is if you smack it on something. Uh, that's why I broke a, a really nice Citizen watch. I was in the machine shop, I was doing some stuff, I was working on the on the brake, doing some sheet metal work, is on my wrist, and I turned around and I misjudged the distance and smack, just square onto that table, and I cracked the watch face. So that's probably the most common way that you're gonna break a watch is if you smack it, like with a titanium pen, really hard. So this one held up to that, but what would be a really bad way to break one of these watches? is if you froze it in a solid block of ice, right? If any water gets in there and then it expands, there goes your watch. Like that's game over. And then on the flip, flip side of that is, okay, let's take that block of iced watch and then bring it to a boil. You really shouldn't do that to a watch. They agreed to let me do that. So let's show you how that went. So I planned it all out ahead of time. I took a container, filled it up with water and froze it to make ice first. I didn't want the watch to be at the bottom. I wanted it to be right in the middle, fully encased in ice. That way the whole thing's completely covered. <laughs> if it's gonna break, it's gonna break from this. So there we go, chuck it back in there, say good night, and left it for, it was two or three days I left it for. Wanted to make sure it was frozen solid. So I came back, and there it is, like it is completely frozen solid. Had to snag a couple pictures of that because I just wanted to show them in case we didn't come back to life. Got the pot going, put it on there and just chuck it in. It's, it's frozen solid. The other extreme is boiling the watch. I would never, I was, I'm paranoid by bringing a watch into a hot tub, let alone putting it boiling water, bringing it to a boil. So anyways, did the time lapse. I flipped the watch. I didn't want it to be on the bottom, potentially burn it right in the bottom of the pan. And then I put a little riser underneath it. I just didn't want it contact in the bottom of the pan. I, ha I had to sort of be fair here. And they say a watch pot never boils. So I went and did some arm wrestling training. While I waited for that, my first competition's tomorrow. So wish me luck. And then uh, did some stretching. And there we go. We boiled the watch. <laughs> Took it out of there. I let it sit for a minute because it's going to be scorching hot. I'm not going to put that on my wrist. But even after a few moments, it's still, still quite hot. Now, I'm, I want to show this to you so you know there's no trickery. There's, you know, I'm not goofing around here. I'm actually testing it. My background is in engineering. We would do crazy tests like this. I did precision laser measurement systems, and we would get them crazy cold and hot and all sorts of stuff. And I was a little worried. I pushed the button. Nothing happened. But then we got some light. There's my gasp. I made sure to leave that in there because I actually was surprised. I couldn't believe it. The thing turned on, but then the screen was dead. So I was, I was a little worried, thought, oh, maybe a little flash in the pan. And that's all she wrote. So I was actually getting a little bit worried at this point. So I held the button again and waited. And then I got another flash. Okay, so how are we doing? It turned on and then shut down. So I figured, oh, the battery, it's going to be dead. Like three days frozen solid. Of course it's going to be dead. So I got the charger cord. And this is my biggest, it's so annoying, like it's such a complaint on this watch. It's such a good watch. I'm going to tell you about all the features and stuff in a moment, how it's been going for me. But they really cheaped out on the charging cord. I'm disappointed in that. Uh, maybe I'll design a little holder for it. I'll 3D print one or something. <laughs> so I didn't edit that out either. I just wanted to show you how annoying it is. And so they could see it and come up with a better design for the charger. But there we go. So let it charge. I hadn't even connected it to my phone yet but it, it kept perfect time. So that was amazing. So all you did is go in here and, oh yeah, this feature I want to try out. So you eject water out of there. I got an update on the firmware just before I did the review. I thought this would be a perfect way to test that out. So it does this little vibration, I guess, to vibrate the water out, tells you you should shake it a little bit. I smack it on the table, of course, but shake it out, get all the stuff out. And I saw a little bit of water came out. So I ran it again, did that. Let it do its thing. And it takes, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds, but there was a little more water that came out. So we're ready to go. And I just reconnected it using the app. The app is fairly straightforward. It's not amazing, but it does everything it needs to do. The connection was taking a little longer 
and that I anticipated. I was getting nervous, but it connected. So there we go. You can go on, change your watch face. The app is pretty decent. Not amazing, but it's got everything you need on there. It has all these exercises. What I'm going to do now is just tell you my experience with it, how I've been using it, what I like and what I don't like about this watch. So I'm back from the test. This is several days later. This is the box for what it's worth. Okay, nothing too special. You got the watch in there and also the terrible charger cable. <laughs> I go to the Cospet website. I'll have a link down below. It have all the different details and whatnot as far as the information about the display type. I'm not a, a watch review guy. I always talk about fountain pens pretty much, but every now and then something comes up and it actually sparks an interest. I've had plenty of people offer me to review watches. They're garbage. They're like $29.99 and it says you can do all these amazing things and they're just absolutely terrible. So I just, I turn them down. I'm like, I'm not going to review that. Or if I do, you're not going to want to see my review. This one they sent me, I was very impressed with it. I thought it was great. A couple little things I thought they could improve. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a second. And this one, and they would allow me to do that test. They stand behind their product. I thought some folks got to know. So let's get into some more details. Pricing, let's just jump into that. So the X2 Ultra, it just went on now, October 10th. I'm a little bit behind in the video, but there is a discount period going on. So the normal price is a, you know, 149.99, 150 bucks, 20% off. So 120 bucks from October 10 to October 16th ish. They said they're going to confirm the dates. I haven't gotten confirmation by the time of this video. So time's ticking anyways on that. Even if you miss the discount period, 150 is decent. Things I like about the watch, the construction, metal body, it is super solid. Like, you know, I don't, I have no problem doing that to this watch. You saw me beating on this thing. I will continue to beat on it and freeze it and all that stuff. And this thing's going to last. I'm super impressed. I, it is more rugged uh, than the other one I have here. I forget which model this is. Again, yeah, it's the M3. I, I get the, all the model numbers mixed up, but X2. This is the M3. This one's good. I smacked it into doorways and countertops and stuff. It survived. It's a nice product. I do like the two-tone. So having like the stainless steel bezel, you can get that on this one as well. But this one is a lot more rugged. So if you're really using this for sports and stuff like that, something more active, you're outdoors a lot more in the elements where it could get banged up or damaged this is the model you want to go with as far as uh, the band goes it's definitely an upgrade it's much more rigid these bands eventually go even the one on my samsung back here it lasted for years but you know eventually some of the stuff ripped and wore out i can see this lasting quite a long time as well uh, this one is a little more flimsy so this one will break before this one will so i'm very happy with the rigidity of the band and all the other features the buttons much more simple just a two button watch but it's got all your gestures it, uh, it still has the thing that i didn't like on the m3 over here is the notification dot it's a bit of a pet peeve it's a simple fix it would just be a firmware update but if you get a notification you can slide over um, but it's not telling you up at the top and that too so if i want to get rid of the notification you don't just swipe it away at the swipe and then you know hit the delete button or clear all and then when you clear all it still stays there if you clear all it should just whoosh, go away back to the main screen just a couple little details like that some of the gestures and things i wish they just do a little update on that and that would take the product up another level to be on par with some of the things in these higher end watches this is again this is old this is a samsung s3 frontier but some of those things are present on this watch the notification dot and the gestures are a little bit better. I had a little pet peeve with the gestures on this one. So if you go into your menu and you're scrolling, it, 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 it's, it, it's doing it right there. It will just fast scroll. You scroll a little bit and it will go slow and then it jumps. This one, it's still doing it. It's better. Um, uh, let me go, sorry, wrong menu. I gotta go here. Here we go. Let's get the list of all the stuff. Here we are. So I'll go to the top and it's better. It doesn't jump as much and as fast and you can control a little bit better if you just go a little bit slower. This one over here, it, it seemed to sort of run away on you, but this one's not too bad. I'd still like to improve it, or at least if there's a setting where you can adjust it. Other than that, like those are fairly minor things. Operation of it, I've gone hiking, I've taken it swimming, hot tub, just all around walking the dog. I, I tried to get some cool footage of me using the watch, so I had to give the dog a bath. Let me show you that. 
So I had to get the wife to help me record it. So let's check out her handiwork here behind the camera. The old dog here, she, uh, she's got skin allergies, so this helps her out a bunch. Medicated shampoo. But those are about the only seconds from the footage that were worthy of even showing. As far as battery longevity, I'm averaging about three days. I'm not using any power saving modes or anything like that. I really don't care if I have to charge it every two days or three days or four days. They say on their site that if you do, uh, you can get up to seven days, that will be on a power saving mode. But I don't really care too much. It lasts a few days, so you don't have to charge it every single night. I am happy with that. The, there's tons of sports on here. Oh, let me hit the sports button. There we go. So that's what it's really meant for. Like I think if you're a downhill skier and you want to have a smart watch, this is a good type of watch for that. They have so many different exercises. It's like 170 or something, and then you can customize it. Um, and I guess you can set goals on here. I haven't used them, but you can do your tap to start, and then you could set how long you want it to go for. I had a user, uh, sorry, a viewer ask me about these watches. Can you set up a custom one where you do like a 10 minute run and then maybe it's one minute of burpees or, or different things and you can combine them to create your own custom workout. I haven't found a way to do that. Maybe you can. I haven't found a way to do that. So you can set time and, and stuff like that and then check your distance. They really have a lot of sports on here. I don't really understand. Whoops, I got in the wrong mode here. Uh, I don't really understand the point of having 170 different ones with different types of running and all that stuff. So I don't really get it. Of course, there is definitely not arm wrestling on here, but there are just tons and tons and tons. You got kendo and just like there's very specific things to P90X, whatever you want to do, kettlebells, stuff I've never done before. Of course, no arm wrestling. So I don't really understand the difference, I guess, average calories you burn on those activities versus other ones, something like that. I would, I would think instead of having like tap dance, <laughs> instead of having so many, I would suggest to them have it a little more customizable or probably easier on the app. You can create your own workout so that it's buzzing and telling you when you're on to the next station or on to the next activity. I think that would be a nice feature to have in the watch. Maybe it's there and I just haven't figured it out, but I, I don't, I don't believe it is. The sensors are good. The notification is quite good. So some watches, when they buzz, it's it's pretty weak. The uh, This M3 here, it's a good buzz, but the every now and then I would miss it because I just didn't quite feel it if I was busy doing something. This one you know right away. You don't miss the notifications from this watch. They're, they're nice, they're not excessively long, but zzz, nice pulse, and you never miss an alert on the watch. So all in all, like construction-wise, just everything. This is rigid. I would say if you have a really wide wrist, this is as narrow as I could get. So it just how the band is, so you can see it's going to start going down. Uh, if it was a touch wider, it would be a, just a hair more comfortable. But if you're any wider, I'll measure my wrist here for you in a second. I don't have a huge, huge wrist. I have a big hand, but my wrist isn't crazy. Any wider than that, especially if you're on the bone, it's not going to be good. So you have to be right there. So a bit of a bigger wrist, this, this probably won't be your favorite. And the width of my wrist is just under three inches. Final conclusion on the Tank X2 from Cospet. Would I recommend it? Is it a good watch? Yes. Pricing, again, I didn't pay for it. They supplied it, so thank you to them. It's tough for me to say, is it worth it when I never actually paid for it? But comparing other watches, I see $150 regular price right now, the sale for $120. I think it's actually really good. My biggest pet peeve is this stupid cable. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the one on the other one, the M3. That was a little bit cheesy. It was okay, but the cable was too short. And I thought, just ditch this and have like a USB type C in there and you can use whatever length of cable you want. So this one's got the magnetic, but as I sh you saw, it's really, it, it's so easy to come off and the cable isn't very long. And even when you get it on, you move it, it pops off. They need to integrate it into some type of holder. And maybe that will be a project. I will design something, 3D print it and then this will be here. You just put the watch in and away you go. So that's maybe that'll be a little project for me, but I would, <laughs> that's, that's about the only thing on it. Little bits with gestures and stuff like that. Other than that, frozen solid than boiling water and it worked right away. Like crazy, crazy impressive. Like I said, the only disappointment is this little cheap, cheesy cable. Okay, that's it. That wraps it up. If you haven't before, hit and subscribe would be a cool thing. I can engage with you in the comments. Thumbs up, all those things, shares. I hope this 
I hope this answers your questions. If you saw this one and you wonder, is this thing any good? Or is this just a piece of junk? It's really good, a really great watch. So good job on them. Video I'm gonna be having coming up here very soon is this new old stock Pelican fountain pen. They don't make it anymore. Gold nib, oblique broad. This is something super special. So don't miss that one. Hit the subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss it because this one is gonna be a ton of fun.